Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Elliot Bennett. <laughs> What a player this lad is. A true fighter for Rovers on the pitch and a great testament to the club off it. A player who has given his all this season and shows 100% passion for the club whenever he pulls on the shirt. After relegation for Rovers at the end of last season, if Bennett had decided to stay, I thought he would be one of the players of this season. However, that prediction may have not come true, but not for the main reason I expected. I thought Bennett would be used in a more attacking role than he did this season and be amongst the scorers week in, week out. Turns out that Bennett was more used for his defensive abilities this season, only scoring a couple of goals along the way. Despite his lack of goals, his passion was both his strongest asset as well as his weakest, getting sent off twice this season, a statistic no one wants to have. With his rover's desire coming out of his ears, Bennett was used in a variety of positions this season, which shows just how far he is willing to go to get the result and be part of the 11 that gets the job done. If it was not for Dak's creativity, Raya saves or Mulgrew at the back, Bennett would be my tip for player of the year. However, the level of performance, goals and leadership is that high. Despite his best efforts, you would have to settle for fourth best for me. As for my rating for the player, an A-. So let's take a look now at Elliot Bennett's statistics for this season. All in all, Bennett was involved in 48 matches this season, scoring two goals, creating four assists, actually playing 92% of all possible first team action this season. He was actually uh, substituted on three times, brought off twice, actually got seven yellows and two reds for the season. That's a statistic that he wants to kind of get under the carpet quick time and hopefully a better, uh, a more, more disciplined uh, player next season. As for his League One action, he was involved in 41 games this season, scoring uh, a winning 26 of those, 10 of those were draws, 5 were defeats. As for goals, he scored 2 goals in League One, which equals around about 0.05 goals a game. Um, all in all, he was involved in 3,546 minutes of first team football in his last five matches. Looked pretty decent. Three wins and two, dra two draws. He's actually currently on a three game winning streak and actually gone 15 games without a loss at the moment, uh, which is decent. He's actually only lost one time in 30 games, but he's gone nine games without scoring a goal. I thought he was going to be up there with the goal scoring numbers. Uh, he's only scored in 5% of all games he's played in. He was involved in a five-game winning streak for Rovers, uh, but he was also involved, like most people, or any most first-team people, in this two-game run without a win and a two-game losing streak. He actually scored back-to-back -back, uh, in, in once, uh, so two games on succession, and he also went 30 games without a goal. Let's take a look at his his numbers that matter. There it is, back-to-back -back goals up against FC Wimbledon and Wigan, uh, which we just couldn't hold on. If we'd won then, I'm sure it would have been a different story at the end of the season, but... Mr. Man of all occasions and all positions, Elliot Bennett's been a diamond this season. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.